So I've been a user of Garmin products since the 705. I've gone 705, 500, 800, 520. I'm now on the 820, but along has come the Element Bolt. Well, the Element prior to that. I've been using this quite a bit. And a lot of people are making the switch from the Edge units over to the Element or Element Bolt units. So what's it like to convert your main screens from this unit over to this unit. We're all told how easy this is to set up. Today I'm gonna to run through the process of just the initial screens. So firstly, booting this up from scratch, from factory defaults, pretty much out of the box, hooking it up to the mobile phone app, connecting the sensors, just the basic ones, so for one bike for the moment, and selecting the main screen setup, just replicating what I've got over here to over here. So if you're not familiar with how to move from one platform to another, we know it can be difficult going from PC to Mac, going from Apple to Android, or going from Garmin Edge, which you may be familiar with, over to the Bolt. So today, we'll run through that process and we'll take you through how easy it is. First up, I'll explain the setup of my Garmin Edge 820. On the top of the screen here, I have the three second power average shown as the main metric. I then use heart rate, distance, cadence, time or elapsed ride time, speed, time of day slash clock, and temperature. The Garmin Edge 820 has on the screen here eight fields and the bolts, which I'll be setting up, we will be using seven to nine fields. I'll explain that in a moment. So enter the bolt and enter my phone to set that up. Again, factory defaults here. First boot up. Okay, first screen, here's the QR code to scan and pair. So we open the Element app on our phone. We use the camera, there we go, to pair. Simple as that. Now I've already set up the app here with all the details on my Wahoo account, so I've fast-tracked all that. Uh, pair to phone, yes. Done, and away we go. So there we have it, happy days, and they're all default straight away. So first of all, we'll set up the sensors, the same sensors we have over here, onto here. Easiest way is usually just through the app. I'll wake those sensors up on my bike right now. With everything now awake, we'll add the rotor twin power. You can see there it adds that field straight away automatically. So defaults aren't too bad on this. We'll add heart rate. And I have a cadence sensor somewhere. If I spin that up. There we go, it's alive, cadence sensor. It's the power tap cadence sensor. Actually it's added two, that's probably one via Bluetooth. We'll add that one as Bluetooth. Okay, so defaults are usually okay for this. So we have watts, speed, kilometers, ride time, clock, heart rate, and RPM, but they are different between the two. So for my preference, I like this setup, typically. We'll replicate that now. So over to settings, customize pages, and here's where all the pages are customized here within the app. Once you press lap on here, you'll have the lap data, but we're only showing the initial first screen. So just the main screen for today. We can deep dive into all the others in other videos, but for now, it's just the workout data, which is the main screen. So I'm gonna put that one up the top. Done. We're gonna rename this one to main screen because it's the main screen. Screen with an N. Okay, so we've named that main screen. And we're gonna run through the list of configuration here. So at the top it's watts, I like three second average. So we'll flip over here and select the metric three second average power as number one. Number two was heart rate, add heart rate. As you scroll through these, it'll pop up here with what metric it's looking at. So heart rate as second. Now the ordering of these is a little different, but we make them as close as possible. Cadence is already there, so we just grab cadence, put that up into third spot. Cadence, next one is distance workout, that's already there. Next one is speed, not currently listed. So we'll change this one over to speed. Did I miss it? We'll go straight to the top again, straight to the top speed. Ah, it's number one, of course. So you have speed. Next one is time or duration of the workout itself. So total time workout, time, active time workout. Time of day and clock is the next one I usually use. Is it at the top again? Is it that easy? It is, time went past it there. So there's quite a few metrics here to choose from, but different time sections. Again, this is just for the main screen. So that's pretty much it. But given that the Bolt itself has 
we'll run through them here. One, two, three, four, seven, and nine fields. We'll also set up these extra two. So if I'm riding along, I want some extra metrics. I can just press that side button there and show the extra metrics we need. For those, we'll go with uh, ascent. So meters climbed for me and temperature. So for those, it's as simple as selecting. Now we want climbing. There we go, climbing. So ascent, that should change to meters climbed, perfect. And over here, we'll add the temperature similar to the Garmin Edge. So take out TSS. And then we'll find temperature. As you can see with so many metrics here, it's not that easy to find them, but there is a ton there. That's, you only have to do this once. Heart rate, cadence, temperature. Bang, temperature, we're done. So there we have it. We've converted the Garmin Edge 820 over to the Element Bolt. Main screens, very, very similar, but we also have that extra funky uh, option of making things a little simpler or diving down. Now, the order of those shown, you can see there from one through nine, that's what shows up on the screen here. So one is one, two will be the first two, first three, first four, seven, and nine. Another personal preference of mine is to have the maps rotated upwards. So while we're in here just setting up these main screens, I'll set map auto rotate upwards. And you can see in here, everything else we can play around with. We can deep dive into those another day. If you have phone calls, alerts, and messages and emails, you can check all those out. If you have phone call alerts on, here's what happens when your friend calls you halfway through recording a video. Happy days and good to hear from Slane. So there's the overview of setting up your Element or Element Bolt, exactly the same as your old Garmin unit that you may be upgrading from. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and we'll be back with some more things on this. This does some pretty funky things with indoor trainers too. More on that soon. Thanks for watching.